guys, today we are making fluffy and moist banana pancakes. It is so easy to make, yet delicious. I would love to try it if you have bananas at home. Let's get started. First, we're gonna mix all the dry ingredients, which is all-purpose flour, baking powder, sugar, salt, and cinnamon. Mix well with the whisk. It may look like a lot of cinnamons, but it really goes well with the banana flavor. Set it aside. And next, we're gonna mix all the wet ingredients. First, mash bananas. Use ripe bananas for the best result. It gives a better texture and the natural sweetness. Next, add eggs and oil. Today I used olive oil. You can also use any other oil. And mix. Next, add milk. And lastly, combine the wet ingredients and dry ingredients. So just like other pancakes, it is so easy to make. Mix well until you don't see any lumps of flour. You still see chunks of banana, but it's totally fine. Today I'm using a regular ice cream scoop to pour the butter in. Heat the nonstick pan at medium heat and drop a tiny bit of oil. Spread it all over the surface and pour the pancake batter once the pan is heated enough. And when you start seeing the bubbles on the surface like this, flip it. Almost always the first ones don't get evenly browned, at least with mine, but it does from the second one. Whenever you feel the pan got a little bit too hot, set it aside or lift it up a little bit like this to cool it down. After the first ones, I like to turn it down to medium low heat. With my stove, I feel it works the best. When I keep going with medium heat, the sometimes the center is not fully cooked when the surface is browned, but this really depends on the stove, so I'll adjust accordingly. And check the bottom. Once it gets nice golden brown and the top bounces back gently when you touch it, it is done. And always use a non-stick pan, otherwise the surface is going to stick to the pan or the color might not look so even. You can apply oil each time you pour the batter, but you really don't have to depending on the pan, especially if it's a good non-stick pan. Today the pancake was about 4 inch, but you can change it as you like. Just note that the bigger the pancake is, the longer it takes to cook. And that's it. Now enjoy. The pancake is soft and moist even after it cools down, but enjoy it while it's warm for the best taste. It tastes amazing as is, but I like to pour a lot of honey on top. You can also do maple syrup or butter. Although I didn't add a lot of sugar, the pancake has a natural sweetness and it really is a perfect breakfast meal. I would like to try it and if you did, please let me know how you enjoyed it. One batch of the recipe makes about 10 4 inch pancakes. But of course, if you have a bigger family or guests, you can double or triple the recipes. I also tried this recipe with baking soda instead of baking powder. But with baking soda, I felt the pancake tasted a little bit more bitter, kind of um, eliminated the sweetness of the banana and the surface got browned a lot more. So for this recipe, I highly recommend using baking powder. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy your pastry ribbon and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.